When you inspect your hive and you have to get down to the bottom deep, what do you do with this top deep or a super that you have on here? What's a proper way to set it on the ground? Do you put it on the side? Do you put it on the front? Do you set it on the ground, directly on the ground? Maybe your queen will walk away on the grass. Do you put it on an upside down top cover? I'm gonna show you the best way when you're doing an inspection to deal with the boxes on top so you can finally get down to the bottom box. It's cloudy today. We got some storms and rain coming in. Bees aren't really foraging as heavily. Kind of cooled off and got a little cloudy, but they're still bringing in some stuff today. Now, when I want to do my inspection, I want to show you guys what do you do with the boxes up here if you need to keep going down further. How do you set the next box off? Now, even though I'm a certified master beekeeper, EAS, I want you guys to know, wow, that that box is full. Um, I want you guys to know that I don't know everything. So I'm gonna show you a couple of ways that I do this. You can watch my videos and you can see there's many ways that I do this. But the typical way that I do it is when I wanna look down into this box and I've got this deep that's full over here and I'm just gonna separate it and usually I'll put it on its front or its back. Let me show you. So you can get over here, separate the boxes. This hive was going gun ho yesterday on a nice pretty day. And uh, I think have been packing away some honey in here. All right. So you can take this deep off. You can set it on the ground like this. And I'm setting it here on its back. Now in doing this, I don't want to set it directly with this on the ground because I'm afraid that would potentially kill the queen if some of this comb is, is pretty filled out like this is and the grass gets on there and the queen was right there. It could potentially kill my queen. So I don't feel good about that by setting it directly on the ground. Now another way that I've done for years is when I take the deep box, instead of putting it on its side like that, I'll just turn my top cover upside down on the ground like this, and now I can place my deep here. Now the reason that works out well is because it's not touching the ground, and those frames are really not hitting anything. I'm just hitting on the outer edges of the frame. I don't have to worry about it that much. Again, I don't think there's an expert way to do it, a right or a wrong way to do it. But let me just say, when you do it this way, you are keeping all these frames in their proper place. Nectar can drip out if these frames are put on their side. A queen cell that's developing could be damaged if the cell is not held in her vertical position. So by putting it on its front or the back, like I showed you earlier, it could present more problems for the bees, even though most of us do it that way. But this would be healthier for the bees to keep the frames in this position, taking it off, setting it, put it back on. Now, if you are gonna use the top cover like I'm showing you here, you can't just pick the deep up or else the top cover will come with you. Let me show you. It's just gonna come along. Oh, luckily that fell off. But in most cases, if it's a hot day outside, the propolis is gonna cause it to stick. So all you gotta do is just put your foot on the corner and hold the top cover down and gently pry up the part where your foot is and you can lift it off and set it right back on the hive. Wow, this smoker is smoking good. And I like this to use a stick that I've whittled down or you can use a cork or something to uh, kind of block off the smoker. That way it saves all your fuel for next time. I wanna tell you guys about my B Team 6 beekeeping coaching program that I started uh, seven years ago. People have loved it. And here's what it is. You can actually email me your questions. You can email me pictures, videos, if you're wondering about what's going on in your hive. And I respond to you directly. Some of you are confused. I think you think that when you write the website, the longlanehoneybees at gmail.com, that you're talking to me. Now, if you're not a B Team 6 member and you're writing to the website, that does not get to me. That gets to my staff. They answer questions as best they can. But when you sign up for B Team 6, you get my personal email, the B Team 6 email, so that when you send an email, it will go directly to me. And then I will start responding to you to help you. So if you're interested in my 
uh, coaching program on beekeeping. Uh, just know that a lot of people for the last seven years have really loved it. People have been on it. Some of them have been on it the whole seven years. And I'd love for you to consider being a part of the mentoring ship program. There's more information on my website about this. And I look forward to helping you. Just think, having an EAS certified master beekeeper. I've been beekeeping bees. I've been uh, at bees since uh, the early to mid 90s. So this would be a great opportunity for you to gain from my years of experience. I don't know it all, but I'm willing to share with you and help you with what I do know to make you a better beekeeper, making fewer mistakes and keeping healthier bees. Just look at the link in the description below. I hope you guys have joined me for my live stream every Thursday night, 7 p.m. Pop in there, 7 p.m. Central Time. You can ask me questions. We have a great time with the Beak Squad. So be sure and join me for my live stream every Thursday night. This brings up another question. How long should you keep a hive open and inspect it? Sometimes I think people stay in their hives, keep them open way too long, and it doesn't take long for the bees to let you know they don't appreciate it. To answer that question, I made a video. I actually set a timer to see if I could open a hive up, inspect it for eggs, and find the queen in less than 10 minutes and put it all back together again less than 10 minutes. Take a look at this video right here. I'll see you guys over there.